Hello, welcome to this month's video blog. Today we're going to be discussing once again the Retro FM system and we're going to be showing how the Retro FM is connected in a pumping chamber. So one of the common questions that we do receive is um, how do we introduce the Retro FM when we've already got the uh, plumbing connections uh, outfitted? And a lot of times you're going to have an elbow inside the pumping chamber that elbow is going to need to be removed and once removed you're going to replace it with a T fitting. Now this is a two inch threaded T. On either side of this we've actually threaded in uh, two Filmac male adapters so it's a two inch male by two inch poly compression fitting. Now if you're not using poly pipe with your particular uh, sewage force main uh, you can obviously connect other types of pipes but the configuration is exactly the same. What's important is that we have a female thread as the point of entry for the Retro FM system. So in this example, we're just demonstrating using a two inch poly pipe. So the vertical, this is where your pump would be. So the pump is sitting in the pumping chamber. You have your two inch poly now coming up into the Filmac compression fitting. As you will see, the water will still flow 90 degrees just as it did before and then the water is going to be pushed through the horizontal plane whether to your septic holding tank or your tile bed uh, via the Filmac 2 inch compression T and 2 inch poly pipe. This now allows the Retro FM system to be fed through the horizontal plane to either that holding septic tank or the tile bed. As we discussed in a previous video, we include a one inch female to two inch male threaded bushing. Now, since this is actually a two inch pipe application, this included fitting is gonna work perfect. So the two inch threaded bushing threads into the T like so, then the Retro FM would be fed inside. What's important here is this nut is spun loose and what we do not want to have happen is we do not want the tubular heater to start spinning inside as I start to thread this on. So what you're going to see is I'm going to start to turn this piece. I'm just showing, I'm just showing you the example, but I'm threading that fitting in without this tube moving. And this is just ensuring that we're not twisting the heating cable inside. Now once this is all threaded and it's connected properly, we then come back to the nut and we just tighten that down uh, as the final step. So with the Retro FM now introduced into your system, you would now bring the power out of the pumping chamber where you'll have a power supply to energize the Retro FM uh, when the season permits. This concludes this month's video topic on the Retro FM system. For further information, be sure to visit our website, heatline.com, and also be sure to subscribe to our social media pages. Thank you for watching.